Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we are back with some more of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Last time we uh, we actually went and raided, what was the name of the uh, the tomb? Uh, darn it, it's not on my local uh, world map anymore. I'll have to go ahead and uh, I'll have to go ahead and back and uh, we'll say mark it on my... Uh, it's over there, we can see it from here but it's not showing up on my local map unfortunately. Not quite, no. Well anyways, we, we went over to that uh, that little tomb over there. And we raided that and got some, some, uh, actually, what did we get? There wasn't really anything uh, astounding or amazing. I think we picked up a book, if I remember correctly. Um, like I said, though, nothing really, really mind-blowing. But, hey, we, we went ahead and, and, uh, that's what we did. And, uh, we now today find ourselves in Polyg- Pol Polygiad. Pol Polygiad! Pol whatever. This, this town here, um that we are uh, entering and I'm, I'm sort of sneaking my way in just to try to maybe grab a few extra little points and sneak uh, the guys facing me so it's not gonna really work um, I'm just sort of you know sneaking through to kind of build up my sneak skill my sneak is what currently at 31 and I've only got three points uh, towards uh, it advancing so uh, it's not really advancing very well um, let me see sneak uh, still three points. Yeah, it's pretty pitiful. But anyways, we're here in this this nice little uh, imperial styled or uh, we'll say village uh, on our way to Balmora. And I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, take a look around um, around town. Maybe talk to somebody. You know what? Let's go talk to this guy here. Uh, I want to talk to him maybe about maybe some local rumors or see. Outlander. I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Well, uh, what can you tell me about uh, Pelagayad? The Empire built a little fort here to guard the roads between Vivek, Sedanine, Belmore, and Points North. And then some veterans took their mustering out pay and built themselves some little farms here. And pretty soon there's a few shops and a trade house. It's a pleasant little village. If you didn't know better, you'd think you were in Daggerfall or some high rock town. That's cool. Um, thank you for it giving me information with your very limited uh, topic selection. All right. Um, that's one thing I, I, I like about about Morrowind, uh, you know, I, I see a lot of people who like Morrowind, they say, you know, uh, the, the, um, the topics, like the, uh, the, the talking, uh, system is so much better than in the later games, because we have so many t topics to talk about, and it's so rich, and then I see the counterpoint is often made, um, that, yeah, but the, a lot of times they just sort of say the same, same thing, you know, if I were to talk to this guy here, he's probably gonna say me, tell me the same thing about, Pel uh, Pelagiad. What? Yakum? Me? Speak Ashland, not speak so good old elf. Sorry. I like that. I like this. So this guy's his his uh his his dialect, we'll say, is is more of a I guess like an Ashlander. So it's it's not so um he's got we'll say very poor uh Dunmer? English? Whatever. Um but if I were to go ahead and ask oh he doesn't have it as an option, but if I were to go ahead and ask somebody else about Pelagad, they would say the exact same thing. Let me see, what about you? Semia? Uh, hello Alexis, I'm Semia, and this is the village of Pelagad, a little piece of that empire right here in the heart of the Dunmer East. Are you looking for someone in particular? And then when I went, go ahead and click on it, it says, you know, the exact same thing as the person outside. But to me, I still like the idea that you can go ahead and ask any of the locals about their town. Uh, and, you know, in the later games, with, with the lower, uh, the, you know, the fewer topics to talk about, uh, yeah, sure, you know, the, you get a variety of things, but at the same time, I, I like the idea of being, I feel like anyone in this room should be able to tell me about the town, right? So, maybe not him, though, because he's not a local. Maybe that's why he can't tell me about it. Um, well, you know, let's, let's learn about this guy a little bit. Um, hello, Yakum. Speak Ashland, Old Elf. Not so good speak. What's your background? I am Yakum Hershashishi. Rogue. Oh, he's a rogue. Uh, well, what's your trade? I'm a lovable rogue, a silver-tongued devil with a taste for the better things in life. But lovable as, I, lovable as I am, some people get upset with me. And so I must fight, purely in self-defense, you understand. I like light armor and short blades for self-defense. Heavy armor and heavy weapons just tire you out. But I train with various different weapon types and armor types, so I can Im improvise when the situation demands it. That's cool. Um, you know, can you maybe tell me, uh, do you know anything about latest rumors? A rumor says the Emperor has repealed the war tax. I've heard nothing official here, but it's about damn time. We haven't had a war in 10 years. So, wait, wait, so was there a, was there a tax? Like, if you went to war, you had to pay a tax to the Emperor for, for the infighting? Is that how it goes? That's interesting. Uh, what about a little secret? Talk to everyone. 
Talk is cheap. Ask questions. You don't ask, you never learn. Yeah, we've heard that before. All right, so you know what? We're uh, here at the tavern. I'm kind of, I'm going to go ahead and talk to the locals here, talk to some of these people here, and see if, if maybe they can give me some uh, some information about... Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with hey, it. Hey, I'm describing to the audience what I'm about to do. Shut up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see maybe if there's any rumors, any little quests, or something we can take on here in uh, Pelagiad. Pelag... Whatever. Pella. Pella. Whatever. Uh, let's see. My trade. No, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in your trade. I'm, I'm curious about rumors, though. And how do you think it was that bloated imperial... Pl Wait. How do you think it was that bloated imperial plutocrats got the charter to exploit the Caldera Ebony deposits and not a native great house or a local colonist? Big fat bribes, I tell you, and friends in high places. Oh, okay. So, uh, so there's obviously some disdain for the empire. Um, we're uh, basically uh, setting up, uh, we'll say, a mining uh, colony here uh, to... We'll say mine ebony uh, by Caldera. Uh, what about uh, little secret? Mm, okay, little secret is not telling me the kind of stuff I was kind of hoping for. Uh, what about you? Any uh, interesting? Actually, do we get different rumors each time we talk to you? Yeah, there's there's different rumors. So um, your trade, I'm not interested. Although you, you do offer training. What kind of training do you offer? No, Anhasi does not train because you do not belong to. But uh, Anhasi must not say what you do not belong to. Oh, you gotcha. You want something? Thieves Guild, maybe. Perhaps, you know, very secret. Secretive. Pleased to meet you, stranger. You planning to be in Pelagaya long? Then you'll want to know where the services are. No, actually, I'm just wondering if you know any different rumors. No, it seems to be all the same you sort of rumors. Be. Um, I'm just kind of going around talking to people, seeing if maybe there's a... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's grab a bed. Food and beds, or both at the same time. <laughs> your choice. So we get breakfast in bed. Awesome. So if I uh, select beds, yes, we have one available. It's 10 gold to, uh, for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Sure, actually. Uh, I think we should go ahead and rest. Great. The bed is yours. At the end of the hall upstairs, you'll find it unlocked. Enjoy your stay in Pelagad. Uh, can you tell me anything about rumors or anything? Nope. Same thing. All right. I figure, you know, we've been uh, adventuring here for a little while. And, uh, you know, we've been... I don't know uh, if I like this. Yeah, neither do I. Uh, we've been adventuring here for a little while, and, uh, you know, Alexis is tired. Like I said, there's a little bit of a role-play element here, but also, I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything in the room we could... Ooh, what is this? I see something hidden back here. An iron tanto. Why is there an iron tanto just hidden behind the, uh, the back of the bed here? Okay, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. An iron tanto. Interesting. Picture, value. Oh, I'm over encumbered. No. Uh well, guess we we'll, we'll have we'll have to eat something. We got this nice big large kwama egg. This mm, like kwama uh, I like a kwama egg with maybe some salt rice to sort of wash it down. Sure. There we go. That'll that'll bring my my encumbrance down a little bit lower. I, I'm just carrying so many things. Uh, I've got to I've got to do something about that. So anyways, we're no longer over encumbered So uh, let's go ahead and rest We're gonna go ahead and rest for the night and then uh, the next day we'll get up and uh, I was really hoping there'd be more to steal in this room But I love the idea that they've got something hidden behind the bed actually wait. Let me see. Is there something over on this side? That's one thing I loved about Morrowind is like you have to check every little nook and cranny because they've hidden all kinds of things in the, this game All right, we're going to uh, rest in the bed um Oh, I don't know. It's it's 8 a.m. Okay, I guess we'll rest for like an hour. You know, we'll, actually, we'll rest for a few hours. Three hours. Nice rest. Ah, screw it. Until healed. We'll get all of our magic back. There we go. Now it is 2 p.m. We've rested until the afternoon. Uh, it's time to get on our way. I, I, admittedly, this is not a town that I've spent a lot of time in. In my previous uh, sort of playthroughs of the game. So I'm not entirely certain if there's... Hello, I'm just going to go ahead and close the door now. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's talk to you. You have anything to say? What do you think you're doing in here? Go away now. Sorry, sorry. Okay, fine. Um, so I'm not sure if there's any sort of quests or anything that I might be I might be missing. Um, do you have anything to say? Uh, trade specific place, latest rumors. No, no, I don't really see anything. Although you do. Not a member? Too bad. Can't train you against the rules. Uh, what, what are you? What is your trade? A savant. I don't know what. Uh... 
So she can't train me. I can't barter with her either. I don't know what she does. Huh. Okay, I, so I, I can't tell what faction she's part of either. All right, so I think some of those 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 um those options will open up once we do get to Belmar. What was down here? I don't think we do we really explore down here. This is like the sort of the storage, the kitchen area and stuff, right? Uh, whoa, what have we got here? A silver spark axe. Does some uh, shock damage. So we've got uh, an enchanted axe in there. That's probably something we should grab. Uh, how heavy is it? Weight 19.2. That is really heavy, and we're over encumbered as it is. Uh, there's a lot of ingredients here I could be stealing and eating. Uh, might have to come back once I unload some of my loot. Or maybe I can just take some time off. Uh, we'll say off camera to go ahead and just eat. Or I'll say, yeah, basically start eating things, uh, working on my alchemy skill. Actually, you know, I might do that. Uh, because my, my weight is getting a little unruly, but I have a ton of uh, alchemy ingredients on me. Uh, so... Actually, first things first, though. Do you sell anything? Barter. You'll have to get rid of that moon sugar. Right. I keep forgetting about the moon sugar. I'll just put it right here on the counter. <laughs> I'll just put this right here on the counter. It's not on my person, so technically, I don't have it. Same thing with the skooma. Don't got it. Okay, now will you talk to me? Yes. Yes, you will. Uh, wait, she said something about the, the Thieves Guild. Darn it. I was kind of hoping she would have... Um, thieves Guild. Well, yes, folks say that they have a guild, like weavers and mages, and it might be that some of my patrons have fallen afoul of the law from time to time, but it's none of my business now, is it? Oh, that's why you're okay with me just dropping the stuff here. Um, is there someone here who will uh, let me into the Thieves' Guild? Now that I've got Thieves' Guild Sorry, as a, stranger. As a talking option, short, so get on with it. what if I talk about Thieves' Guild? Why are you asking me? Maybe you'd like to join the Thieves' Guild? Yeah, yeah, actually, I, I think I would. Tell you what, why not visit the Southwell Corner Club in Balmora, spend some time there, ask around. If people like what they see, maybe you'll learn something. All right, so I got to go to the Southwell Corner Club. I was kind of hoping that uh, you know, I'd be able to get like a mortar and pestle or something that I could maybe work on some alchemy. Um, actually, you know, I've what, what is this shop? I don't think I've ever gone here. Uh, Mbestine, Mbestine Supplies. Oh, there's a, there's a guard right here. I'm just gonna what ask this about. Uh, it's about me wanting some um, some supplies and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop my my moon sugar and my skooma right here. Um, let's see, what have you got to sell? Ooh, you've got a lot of items. Uh, glass arrows, nice. Uh, but there's not really any sort of tools that I really want to uh, to use. Got some nice clothes though, and clothes will come into a uh, we'll say um. We'll be using, we'll say, clothes a little bit more later on in the game uh, when, uh, because for like enchanting, the better the clothes, the better, uh, the better it is for enchanting. But uh, as for the time being, this guy doesn't really have anything that uh, that we want slash need. So I'll go ahead and grab my stuff. And uh, I wonder, can I uh, can I work my way up up, up into? Do you have like a, a back room here? Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go over this way here, and. Ah, oh, the guard's following me. Oh, he's going up. He's he's just going up the stairs. Okay. Uh, there is there is there anything up here I'd want to steal? If there is, just don't don't. Yeah, just go back downstairs. Don't mind me. I belong here. The alchemist's formulary, value of three hundred. Hmm. Healer's recipes. You know what? I've I've, I've got to try this. Basically, uh, since my alchemy skill is terrible, and I have no, um, basically I've got no, uh, I, none, none of the, we'll say, uh, effects are showing up. I, I haven't tried it before, but I, I suspect that if I were to go ahead and use some of the, uh, we'll say recipes in this book, that I would still be able to make potions. Uh, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure though. Hmm. Well, either way, it's worth 300 uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to just down a bunch of ingredients because I've got a ton of them. Uh, and then uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go ahead and, like I said, just, just have lunch, uh, work on that alchemy skill. And uh, I'll be back because I, I want to grab that book, but it's, but it's got a weight of three, so it's going to be a bit of a problem. Alchemy has increased to 11. 
There we go. Now that I've eaten like what 20 kilograms or I hope maybe I, I hope it's pounds either way Now that I've eaten 20 unit units of measurement or weight units of measurement worth of food and Alexis's stomach has promptly just it exploded um, In the limited amount of time that we have we're gonna go ahead and grab the al alchemist formulary off the shelf and I noticed there's another book over here. What is this big tome? The Pilgrim's Path. Um, sure, why not? We'll grab that too. What 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 happened? What what happened? The heck? Do I have the book? Okay, th that was weird. It just it, it that was a, that was a, a glitch. Should I hit a take? And it won't let me take the book. Why won't it let me take the book? Um, nothing here. I'm just walking around just minding my own business in this other person's house. Don't mind me guard <laughs> I'm gonna wait for him to go downstairs. I, I'm not convinced that my sneak is good enough to uh, Actually wait, I could maybe rob this chest over here A Rusted chest. What do we got in here quality restore personality? Oh, man. I could restore my personality Okay, nothing there. Uh, is there anything up on top of the shelf? We got a couple folded cloths. Not a big, not not nothing really great there. Um, crap. What about this closet? Common ring. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. What I want to get into is I know this is a nice little lock box box up here. Small chest. Lock level 50 though. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to open that. I'm not gonna be able to get that. Um, if I try to go into the sack, he's probably gonna notice me. Uh, it's probably just ingredients and I don't need to eat more ingredients, so that's fine strange book though I can't pick it up. I don't know why it, it's, it's really weird Yes, that's a very nice window. It's a very nice window. It's like that is Some fine window Yep, all right. Uh, I guess there's not really too much else. I could uh, Rob you of so I'm gonna go ahead and leave now and uh, let's see if there's anything anywhere else. Uh, what have we got here? We've got it looks like an armor shop of some sort. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see. Let's see what the armorer has, and if there's any opportunities for things to be stolen uh, upstairs, for instance. <laughs> uh, I, I love that they 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 just got like they've got like no security. Oh, unless this door is locked. Is oh, it is locked. All right. Uh, well, we will go in there in a second. Um. Yeah, probably just some ingredients. However, scuttle is worth 10 per. So actually, let's take the scuttle. Scuttle's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my lockpick. Where are we at here? Apprentice's lockpick. And we're gonna try to sneak into this place here. All right, uh, I guess this is the guy's room. Oh, okay. Uh, he's got a, a locked chest. And he's got a... Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping I could look in there, but no. All right, well, let's go ahead and break on into his chest here and see what he's got. Oh, come on. It's lock level 15. You got this. You totally have this. I don't have this. Wow. Okay, there we go. Um, Thunderfall. What is this? <gasps> nice. Okay, so we got Petty Soul Gem, six gold, and what we have here is an amulet that allows me to use, basically cast uh, like a shock damage on touch. Um, and this is kind of what I was talking about, uh, before about, we'll say, enchanted items being, uh, sort of overpowered in this game, or just being really, really useful, because now I have a recharging, uh, shock spell that I can use whenever I want. Uh, so that is, that is excellent. Uh, man, it, man, it pays to explore. I, 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 like I said, I, I haven't spent a whole lot of time in, uh, Pelagayad be before, so, um... I'm fairly certain that that is a new discovery for me. So now whenever I get into combat, I don't need to be uh, breaking out my my uh, pitiful, we'll say, fire spells or, uh, you know, trying to use my own personal spells. Oh, that's locked level 75. I'm not going to be able to get that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get those either. Let's go ahead and drop the moon sugar, see what the guy has available, uh, has available for us to um, buy. Oh crap, I do have some of his stolen goods though. I'm pretty sure if I talk to him, he's going to try to he's gonna get angry with me because I have stolen some of his stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna save. Just for science, I will reload my game. Uh if I go to barter. Okay, I, I think as long as I don't try to sell it to him. 
So, uh, what have we got here? We, uh, I'm currently using a, what, a, uh, silver short sword? Um, best weapon I have is, yeah, they, they sort of max out at 10, uh, as far as, uh, we'll say, uh, short blades go. Iron short sword, 9, 9, and 11. What about the imperial, um, imperial short sword, 10, 10, 10. But it's, it's, it's in pretty poor condition. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a steel short sword is probably better. Yeah, this one's got a value of 40. Basically, 5 to 12, 5 to 12, 7 to 12. And if I compare that to my iron uh, short sword... Yeah, this just seems like a, a uh, better weapon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell my iron short sword. And probably this iron saber. I don't really need to be carrying around long blades. I'm not really that great with them anyways. Um, iron dagger, I don't think I'll need that either. Because I do have myself this iron tanto, which I'm going to hang on to for the time being. I don't know why. I'm going to. Uh, silver weapons are usually good against ghosts and stuff, so I'll hang on to those also uh, for the time being, even though I do have an enchanted weapon. Uh, the Dagger of Judgment will uh, be able to hurt uh, those kind of creatures. However, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so. So I'll go ahead and uh, trade those in, and I will try to get myself a, uh, where is where is it? The steel, steel tent? No, I want to steal a short sword. Where is, where is the, where'd the short sword go? Uh, I lost it. It's somewhere here. Steel club, steel longsword, steel short sword. There it is. And it's going to cost me a total, I'm going to say 25. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. We got it. I, I do like that, that there's imperial, uh, gear in there. It's, it's kind of, it's very, um, it shows off that, you know, we're right next to a, an imperial fort. Um, I don't really think I want to go into the fort right now. No, let, let's continue on the road towards Balmora. Uh, that, yeah, I think that's probably a, a, uh, a good idea. However, however, I did notice some little houses over here. These two guys hanging out back here. I don't know what they're talking about. But yeah, I noticed these little shacks. And I'm kind of hoping nobody's home. If nobody's home, I can, you know, uh, maybe loot them. Oh, dread. There's a citizen. All right, lock level 25. That might be a little bit over what I can do. My security is at 15... I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this house here and see if uh, this is any easier. What have we got here? Ervil's house. It's, he's probably home. If the doors are unlocked, usually the person is home, yeah. And I'm not going to rob them while they're home right now. Ooh, he's not even looking towards me, though. Mm, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get caught for that just yet. I'm, I'm going to be doing a little bit of thieving. Um, and, uh... Actually, I could do some pickpocketing as well. Hmm. That's something I could do. Let me guess your house is unlocked. Oh, lock level 30. Okay, we're going to go back to this house here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and try to break into it. Uh, lock level 25. Eh, I don't think I'll be able to do it successfully, but we will, we, we will try. I'll go ahead and use the thief ring. Yeah, there we go. Walk away. Just walk away. We'll use the thief ring before we go ahead and try. Um... Oh, don't, go away, go away. Darn it. No, she's... Okay. Thief ring. Oh, fail. Come on, come on. You got this. You got this. Oh, crap. My crime has been reported. Run! 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 Oh, crap. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Stash the goods. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm not... I'm not getting... You're not taking my skooma. <laughs> Wow, I left the scum on the counter. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> oh, no, uh, my, 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 my Thunderfall amulet. I do not want to lose that. I'm going to drop that on the ground. Now this year, <laughs> this is a terrible, uh, terrible strategy. This is terrible. Just everything that's happening here. Um, uh, did I steal anything else of really of, of note? No. Okay. Hopefully. Ah, uh, sorry guy. Okay, fine. Just catch me. I can't run that fast. You violated the law, Alexis. Pay the court five gold and surrender your stolen goods, or surrender your stolen goods and serve your sentence of hard labor. Deliver the gold immediately, or come with me. I'll just pay the gold. Five gold. I accept this gold in payment of the fines and compensation ordered by the court, and now you are free to go. Five gold has been removed from your inventory. Has anything else been removed from my inventory? Let me take a look. I seem a whole lot lighter. I do seem a whole lot lighter. Did they steal all my ingredients? No. Magic. 
apparel. I seem to be, for the most part, I seem to be, for the most part, uh, all right. Um, go ahead, stranger. I'll go ahead and take my, my thing back. All right, all right. We'll continue going. Yeah, for, uh, that, that, that's unfortunate. Darn it. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, we'll continue down the path. I think this is actually a different path than uh, I was on originally. It's, this is kind of like the back road of, uh, Pelagiad. Pel Pelagi, whatever. Pelagi! Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and loop around over here and then continue towards, uh, towards Belmore. Yeah, that's, that's sort of the back path. All right, so our, our first attempt there uh, uh, that we did fail, I'm going to be going ahead and, um, I will be, uh, like, lock, uh, not lock picking, pickpocketing and stuff like that. Um, but I'm kind of trying to avoid that for the time being until I get, um, maybe a little bit faster. <laughs> um, or maybe, uh, get, uh, at least, um, sort of a place, uh, basically once I get into Balmora, I'm gonna try to join the Thieves Guild because you can also get somebody there who's going to be able to take care of any price on your head if I can manage to escape the guards because as we've seen, I'm not very fast. Um... I was gonna continue on the path straight up towards Belmore, but you know what? There's a a nice little mine over here that I I'm kind of curious about. So let's let's go over here and oh I don't know. We'll take a little we'll take a little glance inside. Yeah, let, let's do that. Um, now, hmm, okay. Uh, what I'm I I don't have a, a weapon equipped. I should probably equip a a weapon. Uh, I did buy myself my steel short sword. And I probably should assign that to my, um, there we go, my quick keys. Now, also, I'm going to get rid of Nusha's, uh, we'll say, uh, Cursed Ring. As I'm going to switch uh, number three to be my Thunderfall. So, now, when, we're going to go ahead and give this, this thing a try. So, if there's any enemy or anything that comes at me, I'm going to go ahead and try this, uh, this uh, enchanted amulet out on it. And we'll see how effective this is. And I can sort of show off why enchantment is um, a pretty big deal in this game. Now, I do see someone down there. Did, I'm pretty sure this is, is this a mine? No, it's Ulumusa. So this is not a mine. This is a cave. So there's a good chance that this is a bandit. Uh, I don't want to attack them first. But at the same time... Have you. All right. There Surrender we go. Surrender your life to me and I will end your pain. So there we go. I've got like three, four spells. Oh, have you. Dang. I spent too much time sort of making sure that, uh, you know, uh, the spell die. worked and everything, but... Ow! Stupid! <laughs> okay. Maybe I need a different approach for this. Die. Um... Uh, I don't think it's gonna drain it, the, the health fast enough. Stupid! I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble right now. I don't think... You Moon Shadow is not off cooldown. Ancestor Guardian is not off cooldown. I don't think I can run away fast enough. I can use my Divine Intervention to get out of this. Because my, my quick save was right before uh, she decided to come at me. So I'm kind of like, uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to cast shield. Oh, no, no, no. Get, no, pull out your hands. Shield, uh, maybe Sanctuary. <laughs> And let's break out Thunderfall. Stupid! And I'm gonna die. Hmm. I don't want to use my my divine intervention just yet. You will die. Uh. So give me a second. I'm gonna take a couple shots at this. Uh. Firebite. 15 to 30 points. It's not that much uh, stronger than die, Thunderfall. Now, what's happening is because, uh, let me see, I'm going to hold down control. You will die. Yeah. Because I have, um, I have sneak sort of set up on a toggle, when my save game loads, I stop sneaking. Uh, yeah. And so what's happening is right after my load, you I'm no longer die. sneaking. You will suffer. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Boom! 
There we go. Uh, I used a thief ring. I was like, oh, that's right. I can go ahead and put some speed and agility and or crap on me. Uh, it's not really worth carrying around there. I'm sure it's right. I'm just going to leave her be. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put the engraved ring of healing. Uh, what have we learned? We, we've learned that don't quick save when you're sneaking up on someone. <laughs> uh, because it will not end well, especially since I have that stupid toggle on. Um... In, we'll say, the vanilla game, you could just sort of hold down control, and I'm pretty sure it works, but I, I could be wrong. I could be remembering incorrectly. You know what, guys? I am, unfortunately, out of time. Uh, next time, we're going to go ahead and maybe go a little bit further into this uh, dungeon, and we will eventually make our way to uh, Balmora, Balmora, but I am out of time for today. So I'm going to go ahead and save things as LP6, and uh, we're going to end things here. So if you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, Leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comments section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.